Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your reading for February the 3rd, a daily reading. So we have the Six of Swords has come out, Mercury Aquarius. Now it's funny, that's been the themes that have been coming out. I mean, we are in Mercury rec retrograde. It's really hard for me to say that for some reason. It's one of those like tongue twisters. Mercury retrograde. And I'm trying saying that six times all at once. And then we're... You know, we are in Aquarius season, so I feel like all these um, ideas that are coming up and reworking, re-looking at it, um, this is all coming up. And with this Six of Swords, it's very much um, finding, they're saying finding order within your thoughts, within the structure of your thoughts, within where it is that you're going, and you're going to find yourself feeling clearer that you're finding yourself in a better place, a calmer place. It can feel like you're a bit more on top of things because you might have achieved some stuff yesterday. Today, yes, yesterday might have been the day where, you know, if you were putting off writing a lot of, just say that website copy for your, um, for your website, uh, that's the day that suddenly you can write it all and get it all done. There's just something that you needed to get done. And so today I feel like there's a clarity that comes through. I feel It feels like you've moved to a new place. Um, so, yeah, a better place. So that's actually really positive coming through with that Six of Swords and Mercury Aquarius energy. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot of buzzy stuff around your mind, um, a lot of ideas being reworked. But I feel like it gets resolved very quickly. Things get worked out and resolved very, very fast. So what else do we need to know for the day? Let's have a look. So there's an equilibrium that's coming. There's a balance. <laughs> As I said that, I pulled out the temperance card. So, yeah, there's a balance. I mean, you can see how perfectly balanced these swords are. And it almost looks like, uh, you know, one of those wheels, a navigational wheel from a ship and it feels like you've got a very strong grip on where it is that you're going and this is kind of the energy that's coming through it's bringing this lovely balance the seven of wands you're finding yourself in a better position uh, and the nine of pentacles absolutely uh, feeling like <laughs> look who's hiding at the bottom of the deck the devil we'll get away from him we don't want the devil hanging around so when the temperance card comes in it does feel like everything's starting to flow again it feels like things have opened up. It, it's a lovely, soft, gentle energy. It feels like there's an expansion in your world and you can almost breathe a sigh of relief. So it's a lovely energy to come through and uh, definitely around your mind. I think um, there's an opportunity for to lay a few ideas or thoughts that were troubling you to rest or at least to have them in a place that they're not, they can still be there but they're showing me putting them in a drawer and putting them away for the moment, saying, I know you're there, but you're not going to be like the Nine of Swords and troubling me all the time, constantly in my vision, distracting me. I'll come back to you when I'm ready. So the Seven of Wands is very much a sense that you've found yourself, both the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands are about moving You've moved from one energy to another, one place to another. You've found yourself in a better position, a new space where you can feel happier, where you can feel more powerful, where you can feel like you're ready to maybe take something on. So it's a much better energy. And the thing with this seven of wands is that the energy I'm getting is that I've got in this position because I've worked hard to get here. I've struggled and I've got there, but I've managed to do this. So there's a sense of fulfillment that comes with this and resilience and confidence because you're the one that's put in this work. So it's positive energy. And the Nine of Pentacles, again, this is a lovely independent energy, feeling strong enough within yourself to be able to take something on. So De yeah, there's a lot of self-confidence that's coming through with this at this moment in time. The Nine of Pentacles might is the energy of feeling like you've got, feeling there's a gratitude that's coming through, feeling like you've got enough to be able to move forward now, that you're ready, that you've got um, what you need. So 
yeah, feeling like you have got the support, whether it's like in your, it's whether it's money, whether it's health, whether it's um, home, career, feeling like you've got enough to be up, you've got what it is that you need and that you don't need to be necessarily relying on other people for that. So that's the energy that's coming through with that. So let's pull some fairy cards. I hope the cicadas are not bothering you too much in the background. It's just <laughs> what happens in summer in Australia. They do come through so and they can be loud. I know it does irritate some people, so I apologise for that. And other people love it. So what can we get for the day from the fairies? We have Sylvanius. So this is an opportunity to let go of the struggle and to, to reconstruct the idea of who you are and what it is that you claim and what it is that you own. It's an initiation energy, but they're showing uh, the energy I'm feeling is very much a reclaiming. Um, you're the one making, you're the one crowning yourself and going, I am now the king or the queen or however you want to, pre whatever pronoun you want to identify as, don't do gender-specific tarot. I pronounce myself the queen or the king of my world and that looks like this and I'm owning it. So it feels very much like a self-empowering energy coming through. Let's see. So around the home we have Tayom the poet and this is a beautiful energy. It's very soft. It's very creative and it feels like it's a nice space to be able to dream. I feel like I can dream, I can think, I can fantasize if that's what it is that you want to do. My thoughts are free. So it's the, it's a feeling of around the home your your thoughts are free to wander and wander into some nice spaces. So it's a dreamy energy, allowing yourself to dream a little bit. So that's why it's important to have this balance coming through. So there's, it's not a stressful energy. It's the opposite of that, of being able to feel, it does feel safe and secure and feels like the space is clean for whatever reason to be able to do that, to go on a voyage again. You know, it's to do with the journey and to, to be able to have the freedom to let your mind wander or let them let you go down a, a train of thought or to allow yourself to get um, motive, get yourself in a better position in terms of what you want to be doing. So in terms of allowing yourself to want to do. So all of those things are coming out here. So we have the feline around career and finance coming out. And, you know, the feline for me is the grumpy socks. He's Mr. Grumpy Socks. And it can be a day when people are... Um, you might have to encounter someone who is cranky and grumpy. Uh, and these are kind of, this might even be within yourself. There can be a sense of that uh, because that can come out if you're not being given the freedom today. Today you need freedom to be able to move to the places or the energy or the spaces that you need to go to. And if there's too many constrictions or restrictions put on upon you, or, you know, this can just be someone very grumpy in your office and you're like, you know, I should want to feel good today. I don't want to be around someone really grumpy. Or um, That's how this feline can come out. Now, he can also come out when it, he's saying there's something that you need to look at that you have you forgotten to look at something. So there might be something in your work that comes back to you that it's just something that um, you have to sort out. Um, not a big deal, I don't think, but it can be annoying because the rest of the energy is pulling you towards this freedom of thought, freedom to be able to um, wander, and this is kind of very directly point bringing you back to something. And again, it's that retrograde energy of revision, uh, going back, redoing something. So that can come up as well. There can be things that you have to go back over again. So let's look at relationships. The journeyman. So, yeah, I mean, it's come out so important today that it's like I feel like today is the start of a journey or it's a very important day to be able to feel free to do that. And so any other energies, like I said, are going to constrict you. This journeyman carries the moon. And 
that's all he's taking. So there's a sense of feeling light, of feeling free, of feeling stepping into the unknown, having an open, curious mind about something. Again, it's all about the element of your mind, the element of air today and how that, how your relationship to that and how your thoughts are motivating you, how free your thoughts are. These are all the themes that could be coming up. So if you're not feeling, you're feeling stuck in something, you're going to get frustrated. Uh, so the journeyman has a very curious energy in that he's, t he's taking a lot of knowledge with him, but also open to the journey, not knowing exactly where that's going. So in terms of relationships, I feel like there's a, there might be a shift in the energy in your relationship today, or, and this can just be within yourself as well. It can be relationship to anyone or anything, depending if you're not in a serious relationship or have a significant person in your life. Uh, it's a sense of, I do feel like this energy is going with somebody. Um, there is someone coming with you, a feeling of where your place is in the world and feeling like maybe you're part of that and you're all moving in the same direction. But in terms of relationship, it can just feel a shift that we're moving into a new energy, something new here, into the unknown, but it feels light. So it feels like a nice, a very highly intu intuitively it's going to feel right. And let's just pull one last card. We have the Ra, beautiful. And this is being able to rise above and to be able to, again, it's this lovely floaty free energy of rising above something, um, being able to move beyond something that has kept you stuck and kept you heavy and kept you in some lower vibrational energies. So, yeah, moving up seems to be very important. You know, the Ra card moves up. The Seven of Wands is about finding yourself in a higher possession position leveling up moving up whether that's energetically moving to higher vibrations whether it's a sense of you are being able to now have a doors opened a key's been unlocked and there's a chance to be able to move up to where or move to wherever it is that you want to go um, so that's all really positive energy that's coming through for the day and again it's a light energy so let's just finish the reading off with a power of thought card it says oh I've got three my home is a peaceful haven I bless my home with love I put love in every corner and my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort I am at peace and that's kind of what we were getting with this Taeom the poet energy as well around the home that it's a day that if you're not feeling it to try and find a place or a space of peace that's going to be really important to just even take some time out to think and let your minds wander and and find where that goes to um, try and release those thoughts of stress and anxiety yes that I mean that can be overwhelming and if it is just honor that allow that to process to happen but uh, and then just see where it goes it's kind of being really mindful with that I am flexible and flowing <laughs> Speaking of which, I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. And that is the day. It does feel like a day where they're wanting you to feel like there's flow, easy flow happening. And this can, they're just um, showing me, this can be in terms of like generation of ideas, communication, the way you think, talking, all of that sort of stuff. It can be groups of people working together it can be meetings at work you're wanting the ideas to flow and be free it can just be in very deep internal process with yourself it can be something deep between you and a significant other so it could be a day for some good conversations or just um, even for some of you writing journaling writing down your thoughts as well and it says I'm deeply fulfilled by all that I do each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I'm at peace with my world and affairs. So I'm just going to come back to this Six of Swords because the, at the heart of that Six of Swords is peace, is an idea of finding a calmer place, a more peaceful place and being able to move to that. So that's kind of and from that place, everything else comes, all the other energy. It's like that's the central energy and everything else 
stems out from there and then this beautiful balance comes in and all these other it gives the opportunity for these other energies to come through so it, yeah it's a day of trying to find a little bit of peace um, however that can generate in your life and see where that goes and be open and curious so thank you so much for joining me um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow bye <music>